Okay, hello dear friends. Here we still work on the solving the inequality of the world. And this time we make it a little bit more complicated. The last video we have mentioned x to the power of 1. So we move to the variable to the on one side and uh, the known number on the other side, no matter is a calculation or not x equal bigger than a or x smaller than b, whatever number. Okay, this is x to the power of 1. Now, x to the power of 2, x square, then... We move every everything to the left side of the equation and then factor it into x minus uh, uh, m times x x minus n bigger to zero or smaller zero. We factor it, okay? And now we work on the third kind of problem, x to the power of three and x cubed. So, <clears throat> It is the same thing for whatever number. You put x to the left side or anything to the left side and the right side is zero. <clears throat> for example, the, the, the problem is x minus one times x minus two times x minus three is bigger than zero. Ooh, that is a little bit complicated. So we can see there are three points. So the, 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 the graph interfere with the x exit, with the x exit at three point. One, two, three. The possible, the possible, um, the possible graph could be this way or could be we are guessing we are guessing could be this way we do not know but one thing we make sure just uh, i was playing around and i found x to the power of any even number x to the power of 2 eventually will be such a graph and there are only it could be one intersection with the x exit it could be zero interaction with the x exit it could be two interaction uh, intersections with the, the, the x-exit. These are the possibility. And the graph, either this way or this way when it is negative, or this way or this way. Make any sense? I think if you, <clears throat> if you, if you, 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 you play around with graph calculator more, you will understand. Plus a certain Thing. Okay, x to the power of 3, no matter, plus ax squared plus bx plus c, whichever way, it, the basic is like this. Why is like this? When x become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, bigger, until it reach the maximum x go to extremity of positive number, the result will be very big, become positive number. And if x becomes the negative, goes to negative extremity, and the y value will be negative. So this is the basic x to the power of 3. And all these x, ax squared plus bx plus c, it may change the the graph like something like this it may have some bump this bump may meet the x exit may meet one may meet two okay this one two 
two. Oh, this is meeting one, meeting two, meeting three. But as x goes to positive extremity, the y value, the function, will go become bigger and bigger. And uh, as x goes to the negative extremity, the y value will go to y extremity. And there might be some bumps. And that is the nature of this kind of uh, x to the power of 3 graph. Now, x to the power of 4, it still will be x when x is to the left side bigger and bigger the y value will be bigger and bigger make any sense because um, because uh, uh, anything to the power of 4 will be a, a positive number and x to the positive extremity it also will be good so it tilt up if it is x to the negative negative x to the power of 4 it will be this way it will be a sad face and if x to the power of 4 plus a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d and all these may change the shape of it but do not change the tendency of the graph. The graph will be something like uh, uh, one. And the possible solution for this is one, two, three, four. It at the most have four bumps. Or it can have three bumps if two bumps meeting together. It will be like this or like this. Okay, this is the shape. And x to the power of 5, it will be this shape and plus a certain number. It will be... Mm, 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 mm. No, not this way. Not this way. This is not right. There are two y values. It could be... Mm, 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 have more bumps. Or... have more bumps, okay? That make any sense? So when we see this kind of problem, when we solve the inequality of x to the power of 3, there's one way we, sell, uh, we solve it algebraically. For example, x minus 1 plus a certain, x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, is bigger than 1. So if this one is positive, this should be negative, negative. Oh, no, all positive make positive. One positive with two negative. One negative with one positive with two negative. One negative with two positive. And this one, One positive with uh, positive, positive, negative, 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 positive, positive, yeah, and that's it. So there are, gosh, I am a little bit uh, confused on here. Positive, positive, negative, negative. Mm. Negative, negative. Negative, negative, positive. I think we have include all the scenario. So it becomes quite complicated, right? So one thing, you, you have to try all this. It becomes complicated. And what we do, so we know that this graph intercepts with one, and two and three. So we can add in a number. So we know whether it goes this way or goes this way. And we put one, two, three. It's kind of a, 
呃讨厌 ，so kind of 呃、uh, not easy. So x minus two, x minus four, x minus six, bigger than zero. Okay, we will do this. Two, four, six. So we can try when. Okay, I got quite confused, but anyway, we can try only one number between two and three. Two and three. Let's try three. When x is three, uh, this is a、uh, positive. When x is three, this is one, and this is negative one. This is negative three, so the result is positive three. So it's positive. So once we know one point, we know that it must be like this. Negative, negative, positive, positive. So we know the graph where the graph. Is, uh, is heading to, so what is a possible value? The possible value will be for this result is two, two three, or x bigger than six, because here is positive. Make any sense? Because it intersects with the x exit. Once you know one of these number, you can decide how the turn goes around, and it becomes complicated and it takes a lot of time. If you are in the examination period, the best thing use your graph calculator, use your TI, and use your TI to 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 do the the graph. I will make. You look easy by showing you the decimal. Okay, here we are on the.、Decimal. Okay, let's try x. X plus five times x minus one times x.、Uh, uh, times x.、Um, X uh, minus uh, X uh, uh, X minus three. Okay, now we see. Now we see the, the 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 duration of this a little bit big, so that you can see. Oh, six is a little bit. I'm. Uh, uh, okay, now here we are almost at the middle. Okay, this we can see. At least we can see here. So here we have the intercepts, and this is the possible value. This is the possible value, and in this direction, you see the intersect is negative five, and below negative five, x smaller than negative five, and another one is in this direction, when x is bigger than. Positive one and smaller than negative three, other、uh, than positive three, and this is a negative value. Here the negative value. Here is the positive value. Okay, so with this we can play around. X to the power of four. Time another one. X uh, uh, minus four. See. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. So you can see positive because it at at the end of the day it will go up, and here is a huge bump. It just has a very huge bump. See this bump is up to here, but it eventually it will end. It eventually will end. Okay. 
So that's about it. You can use um, graph to help you calculate, to help you uh, figure out um, the tendency of, uh, of the graph. And uh, I find it quite uh, interesting to, to have fun with the graph. So at the end of the day, it will go up and up, up and up, up, go to extremity. <laughs> to almost invisible. Okay, thank you very much. You have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Do do do. <laughs>